Simplifying a ratio of multivariate polynomials. We're asked to simplify this fraction. We've got multiple variables, we've got polynomials, and we would like to cancel some of the terms in the top with some of the terms in the bottom. That would simplify things, but before we do it, we have to show the terms as multiplication, which means we have to factor each one as best as we can. So in the top, uh, we hopefully identify a greatest common factor, that's always our first choice, that we can factor out of everything. And it looks like for the numbers, there's a 4 in common that we can factor out. And for the variables, it looks like both terms, the left one and the right one, have at least three u's. So for u3, that's what I'm going to factor out. And when I factor that out, I'm dividing by 4u3. So the first term, the 16 divided by the 4, gives me 4. The u3 divided by u3 goes away. So that's just 4y3, because those are the ones that are left. In the second term, if I divide by that 4u3 that I'm factoring out, the 4s cancel. And then the u3 cancels three of those u's, but there's still one left. So that's just a plus u x to the 4. That's all that I was left with in the second term. Again, when I factored out the 4 u3. Now in the bottom, I can't factor that. It's just one term. So I'm just going to write that 8 u squared. But now that we have everything factored, we can look to see if there's anything that can cancel. So looking at those first terms, I have this 4 in the top and the 8 in the bottom. I can cancel them now that I've got it factored. 4 goes into 4 once, 4 goes into 8 twice. And then the u's. I have two u's in the bottom. That will cancel two of the u's in the top. So what are we left with? In the top, I have that u, just one of them now, because I canceled the other two. And I have 4y to the third plus u x to the fourth. There was nothing in there that would cancel. And in the bottom, I'm left with just the two. You could distribute out that u if you like, or you can leave it just as is.